What is up you guys, this is Mr. Geek and in this video we'll be taking a look at OBD2 adapter. So the first thing that I'd like to bring in light is this small device. Now this small device is known as an OBD2 adapter. OBD2 stands for Onboard Diagnosis. Now this uh, little small thing connects uh, to the CPU of the car and in technical terms we call it the ECU. So basically this acts as a medium between any smartphone and the ECU of the car. So the first thing that uh, you might ask is where do I connect this? So generally in cars the OBD2 port is found near the steering column. So you know you may have to find it somewhere under the steering column somewhere right here or you know like this is my honda brio and the uh, obd2 port is right here it is somewhere here yeah so i'll just connect it and i'll get back to you okay so as you guys can see uh the adapter is connected to the port okay so the next thing is that you take a smartphone and you install this app. The name of the app is Stock. You show the app. The name of the app is Stock. Okay. So as you can see, I have already installed the application. The next thing you do is uh, open your Bluetooth settings and uh, try to search the OBD2 adapter. Okay. Here you can see uh, my phone is detecting this OBD2 adapter. So I just try to connect it. Yeah, it's trying to pair and uh, it seems to be connected so now we'll fire up talk okay so I've opened up the application the phone is now connected to the car's ECU okay so let me just start up the engine okay so as you can see uh, it is giving real-time information about the revs when I put my foot on the throttle, the revs increase. And this is how it goes. As I rev, uh, it is giving real-time information to my smartphone. So there are various uh, menus right here. So when you go to real-time information, you have various type of information that is uh, displayed on this device, like acceleration, revs, the speed of the car, how much amount of throttle am I giving, then there's vacuum pressure and the cooling temperature. Another thing you can do is you can look for fault. So whenever there is some error or fault that is uh, recorded in the car's issue, the, the check engine light it always it, or it usually turns up. So right now uh, my phone is detecting for error. So currently it seems that there is no error in the car. And we also have some test results so like you can take you can take the car on the track and you can get some information like uh, like your speed your lap timings and stuff and we also we all, we can also get various plugins online so this is the basic interface of the app okay so the basic misconception which uh, people have about this thing is people think that you can control your car uh, using this device but no my friends this is just uh, a scanner this is this is used by technicians and uh, it is used in um, uh, auto centers to find errors and uh, faults in your car's ECU so this can only give real time information and it can only check for errors in codes errors in faults in your car nothing else it can't really control your car so this was a small video uh, about the OBD2 adapter. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up because it means a lot to me. And thank you for stopping by my channel. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and share this video if you liked it. Thank you for watching with this video. This is Mr. Geek signing off. Bye-bye.